So we put together some amazing transfers, but we didn't start the league off in an amazing way. I mean, we did get our first three points, but then we choked in the second game against Liverpool, which kind of sucked. If you want to check all that out and see the amazing signings we did last game or last episode, make sure to check out the playlist down below in the description. With that being said, real quick, oh my gosh, thank you so much for 22,000 likes in under 24 hours. You guys are truly awesome, man. Booyah Nation, I love you guys so so much dude if you guys want another Befica Karimo tomorrow can we smash 20,000 likes on this one that would be absolutely wicked the way you guys have supported this series is absolutely unreal now obviously the likes aren't getting as close to the dormant Karimo because the dormant had some videos hit 50,000 likes which was nuts but hitting 20,000 likes on a Befica Karimo to me is just out of this world we got some transfers to make now the first one that popped up comes in from uh, my man yeah I'm, I'm gonna call you L man because I don't want to mess your name up so my man L man uh tell Tells us to get Kona Plianka and it has 148 thumbs up. Now, this was the top comment on the video, but I'm gonna show you something in a minute. First of all, let's go to Kona Plianka. Now, a lot of people in the comments down below said he just arrived at Sevilla, so we wouldn't be able to do it. I'm not sure if that's true or not true. Either way, Kona Plianka could definitely be a great player to sign in. Only problem here, Booyah Nation, is I'm not sure how we would be able to sign him. I got six million, and then I'm gonna offer Talishka. On top of that, I could offer Samurais. Ooh, Samurais plus six million for Kona Plianka. I like that deal right there as we have Faizja already. We have Yuri. We have Renato Sanchez. We're in a great place when it comes to that. Now, the comment underneath the one you just saw is this one right here with 358 thumbs up. This is this makes no sense to me. This should have been above that comment. And the comment I'm about to show you in a minute should have been above this comment. Either way, the comment sends a sex into a disaster. Hopefully, YouTube fixes that one day. Either way, my boy Adder. What up, man? Thanks so much for that goal you scored against France, man. You had me in tears when I saw Portugal win the Euro. I don't care. They played bad football. They won the Euro. I don't care. We move on. Ether says, buy me. I destroyed France at Euro 2016 final, and I want to be in the Ultimate League. My man, Ether. I would love to sign Ether. Only problem is we do have a lot of strikers, man, but... Ether did some amazing things for us, so we're gonna try to sign Ether, but I think he just arrived at this club now. I'm not sure about that. Should we? I feel like Ether's like five mil max, yo. I'm gonna say four mil max. Maybe I should, you know, man, let me see how much they, let's, let's inquire about Ether and see what they say. We don't need a striker. Striker's not our first thing we have to be going after. Obviously, you guys know we kind of did well with our striker position. I'll show you why I mean that in a minute. But before we advance on, look at this one, man. This one comes in from EA Tube and it has 422 thumbs up. So the first one at the top of the comment list was 148, then Ether with three something, and now this one with 422. I thought it was the top comment first regardless let's move on he says he tells me to sign two players and this had 422 thumbs up so boys that is a lot of thumbs up so you guys must really want these moves to happen right here so let's go check it out real quick man i think his name is said more i want to say it's more i'm not sure how you say this guy's name now here's the thing when they're this young 18 years young i want to inquire about them because i don't i don't know what to offer on such a young player i don't know nothing about him so I don't, I'm going to inquire first before I go and throw a bid out there. Next person on this list, Bayer Leverkusen Cam right here. Absolute beast of a player. I do want to sign him now. I don't know. I want to, man, do I inquire about him? What's his overall? Wait, first of all, what's his wages look like? He's on 80, so he's, he's a solid player. Should I offer like Talishka for him? Or should I offer, you know what? I'm going to offer Samarais. I'm going to offer Samarais on him. Bang. Because we don't need, we have a lot of CDMs. Andrea Almeida could play CDM. Faizia could play CDM. Yori, Renato Sanchez. So why not, man? Let's go ahead and throw Samurai up there and see if he bites on that deal. And there we go, man. In a great spot. I got all the top comments, I believe. Well, nope, there was another one right here. Uh, comes in from, I don't want to butcher your name. And I'm going to butcher your name. So I'm not going to say it. But I'm going to call you Didi. From Didi, and it says, buy left back Gaia or Alberto. Now, these are two great shots. For a shouts. First of all, my man Alberto annihilated us in the last episode. If you guys watched it, man, the reason I couldn't beat Liverpool is 100% down to Alberto. Now, I would love to pick up my man Gaia. Only problem is I just don't even know what I would have to give. What I am going to offer is Ilesu, which is our left back that plays for us now. And I'm also going to offer the $6 million. You might say skills. That's way too much for Gaia. 
I don't think it is. I think that's a solid deal. I think Guy is one of the best left backs in this game. Do I think I overpaid? Not really, because that deal would be like for 12 million. And I don't even think they'll accept that in the first place. Up next is my man Alberto, um, the Liverpool beast. Again, he he annihilated us, bros. He literally annihilated us in the last episode. Um, I just couldn't get through his through Liverpool's defense because of him right here. And uh, I don't know what to offer, man. I guess I'm gonna offer the six million on him. And then I don't want to offer nothing too much here, man. So what I, what do I, should I offer the same deal? Should I, should I do a, a LSU goes for what, four point? Oh, that, that's like, neither of these deals are going to happen. Neither of these deals are going to happen. I would love to get a left back. All right, so we get, we get some news back, man. We get the inquiry here. Uh, they want nine million for other. Yeah, you know what, man? That's, that's a bit tough, bros. That's, that's a bit tough. How about just straight up six, man? How about we just relax and we both agree on six because nine million is a bit tough for the boy Adder, man. As we proceed, it says, thank you for inquiring about more. Uh, he, ha he has recently joined the club. Uh, Alberto, they say no because they want me to get 14 million on top. Gaia, they say no because of why. We cannot go ahead with the deal because we are not interested in the player. They're not interested in the player at all. Uh, what about if I give you Samurai's? What about if I give you Samurai's and six million for the boy Gaia? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, baby. Hey, can I just get five? Can, can y'all just give me five? Lester, please, just give me five. I should have just accepted that. You know what? Now that I think about it, I should have just accepted that. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot go ahead because we are not interested in the player. Well, damn then. We're going to get a deal to go through today. Slowly but surely, we're going to get a deal to go through. Right now, how the table stands, we're two games into the season, and we're on three points. Yo, Spurs are running things right now on seven. And then Bayern, Barca, Atletico, and Napoli in the top five. We're playing Juventus, who are in sixth place. And, you know, we had a Juventus career mode going. So this is a big game right here. Because if I don't lose this, people are going to be like, yo, you should stay with Juventus. Felipe Luis, uh, let me see what I want to do here. Felipe Anderson is staying out on the wing. Smithu, Jardel's on the way down. Why? Jardel's been amazing. Why is he on the way down, though? So is Lendelov. Oh, it's probably because they got scored on the last game, huh? That's probably why. Jardel's on the... I mean, uh, Luis Zong's on the bench, but I actually want to bring Luis Zong with me because he's actually going to start this game over Lindelof. I want experience in the back against a great Juventus team. Uh... Andrea Almeida is going to get the start over the boy Smithu for this game. And also, Talishka needs to be on the bench somewhere, man. Where the hell are you? Who, who am I leaving behind? Do I leave PZ? Right, I'm going to leave PZ behind. Although, PZ should get the start for this game, yo. PZ should actually get the start for this game. And he's going to because I'm going to bench Renato Sanchez. Now, I'm going to bench El Shirawe. We're going to bench El Shirawe for this game, boys. And we're going to put him on the bench. And we're going to leave... Um, who are we going to leave behind? Yo, we're going to leave stupid Tarat. Let's leave Tarat behind. Felipe Anderson, Renato Sanchez, Feja, PZ, Jonas, Mitroglu, Jardel, Luizon, Gramirdu, and Andre Almeida is what our team is looking like. I wish I, I wish I could play Smirdu, and I wish I could play Lindelof, but I feel like I need that experience. Even though they're slower players, I want that experience against this UV team. They're a fantastic team, a strong team. I want the defense to be solid because they play three at the back. So if my defense is solid, we can counterattack this UV defense. <laughs> Any of my viewers live in Italy, were close or anywhere around or our family. Massive earth earthquake went through and, and 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 just devastating scenes there, man. God bless you guys and I hope everything is okay with you and your family. And I hope uh, I hope I hope the best for you guys. Alright? All my Italian viewers out there, stay up, man. I love you guys. We need Jonas, man. We need Jonas to find the back of the net. He scored three in his first game. And this, in the last game, he didn't score any. So we're going to hope in this game. Look at Vardy, man. Vardy was going to sign with us. You guys remember that? And now he's a starter at Juventus. I waited up for Faisha. Renato Sanchez. What do I do here? I have to slow down. I set it up towards Mitro Glue. He looks up and finds Faisha. Over to Jonas. Dude has a wicked shot. Jonas! Ha <laughs> ha! You ain't ready for Jonas, baby. Come on, man. Three games. Four goals, freaking Jonas, man. 14 minutes in, this guy is an absolute beautiful person. Love this guy, man. The Brazilian stud, his right foot is magic in real life, is magic in the game. Look at this, Mitro Glue finds Faja. Faja turns up, sees Jonas. Nice fake shot to get space, the shot. And that's freaking a freaking legend goalkeeper, man. Buffon, unable to get to it. Big goal by Jonas. This guy is going to be the top goal scorer in the league. You best believe it. Up top to Marquisio. Luizong trying to get there. He can't. Look at the opening down bottom. A lot of space here for UV. The header from Vardy. And Vardy tried to play it into the box. And great defense right there. Back into Renato Sanchez. Away from Mitro Glue. Big chance here for the Greekman. Big chance. Ah, oh, the man from Greece with a massive opportunity. Cut back. I find Faja. Outside the box, Faja. Letting it rip with Faja. 
I thought I should have shot it, maybe. Maybe I should have shot that, boys. Maybe I should. I, it was empty, but I felt like I didn't have an angle there. Well played. Back out to Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson trying on the Jets. Maybe I could find somebody back post. Showed us the ball. Need to just go a little bit slower. At halftime, we've been pretty good. I almost don't want to change nothing. You know what? I'm not going to change anything. I really want to play with Talishka, though, and see what he's bringing to the table. We had a chance to make it 2 0, man. Oh, be calm. Yo, the keeper's out. Ja, Louis Zong, well played. I see you, Peasy. Good pass to Peasy. I see Mitro Glue in the box. Mitro Glue! That's mine, ref. Ref. Louis Zong. Louis Zong, what a tackle, son. Kadira, Louis Zong again. A slide and a miss. Ball to the middle or right there. Fajer clears. Talishka, we're on it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Raul, I brought you in for this. Use your speed right here. Use your speed right here, Raul. Raul. I slow down. I try to find Taliska. It gets, gets stolen. Faisha sends it all the way down bottom to Jonas. To Jonas! Let's go! Four games played. Five goals. Five for four. Come on, man. The only game this man didn't score in is the Liverpool game. Big goal for Jonas. Three points in the bag. We cleaned up nicely. Who sent that? Faisha, what a freaking pass. Deadly pass to Jonas. A finesse shot right around Buffon near post. Another opportunity for the old Brazilian. Referee! It's a wreck. Oh, he's such... That was a hat trick for Jonas, yo. He's only going to get a yellow as well. Boys, that was a hat trick incoming. Big chance right here for Jonas to get a hat trick with Buffon in goal. Jonas gets it over the wall after the crossbar. Well played here in Italy. We walk out of here with all three points, which is beautiful because Juve is a fantastic side, man. So to pick up all three points here, only freaking Liverpool has been able to stop us. We were we were amazing against UV, man. And I told you guys the experience of Jardel and Luis Zone would stop UV. But they want nine million for Ether. And I'll be 100% real with you. I don't really see a reason for us to even attack ether too much because we don't really need a striker like that so maybe maybe if i offer like Silview and six million but besides that man i'm not doing nothing else for other boys we don't need another striker um so there's no point of us going going crazy to get rid of them i was reading with the Silview thing i was wondering if they sold them or not if we sell Silvio right now, we're in a good spot. We'll have some money on us. We get an offer here for Pfizer. He's been so important to us, man. If they can give us 25 million, then I'll let him leave. But only for 25 million, boys, because he has been absolutely unreal. They come back with 4.1 for Silvio. Silvio doesn't even belong to us in real life. He belongs to Atletico Madrid. So this is a massive deal, yo. We just sold a player that's on loan with us. They accept Silvio as I accept to let him go, bro. Wow. So other deal goes through, but it's too late. So right now I'm waiting for this money to get in, man. We need this money to arrive. So they say the Faisa deal obviously is not worth it. Uh, do we get 3.5 million now? That's important. 3.5 mil uh, is a lot of money right here. So now all of a sudden we can offer more money on top of Gaia. We can offer uh, 10 million um, and then I'll probably give them a left back as well. And maybe they'll, you know what? 10 million and, and Samurai's maybe now, maybe now this will actually work. Maybe now they'll bite on this and we can snatch him up. Berto, we can now offer 10 million. And Ilesu, which is pretty damn sick because they wanted 17. We're getting pretty close. So we could end up picking up uh, Albert. So everybody loves Willian. Every time I'm in the comments, everyone's telling me to always sign him. So I don't know. I, I, I honestly know this is never going to work. But I'm going to offer Beezy and 10 million on top of Willian and see if somehow they bite on that. Money on Nigoli, man. I'm going to offer 10 million because, yo, we could play him at CDM. Plus, I absolutely just love this player. I think he's fantastic. He's in poor form right now. He's very happy, but he's in poor form so I'm gonna offer 10 million uh, plus Samurai's now as you can see the chance of this actually happening is very slim because look at their freaking uh, the money they actually want for him now I know Campbell just moved to sporting in real life and I'm a Benfica fan so I all I love this guy and all of a sudden I have to hate him because he went to sporting I'm gonna see if they'll give me a one-year loan deal on Campbell I like Campbell I've always loved him in real life I think he's a fantastic player might as well just throw that deal out there real quick and see if they'll uh, you know just kind of take a look at it also my boy Hector man Hector Bellarine absolute beast of a player now I have a little bit more money to offer on him so I'm gonna offer 10 million and I'm going to offer 
on top of 10 million, um, I guess I'm gonna offer, should I offer some of that? I could offer some of these, I could offer him. He's not really gonna play that much. I love him though, man, he's a fantastic player. You know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna offer Andre Almeida plus 10 million for Hector Bellerin and see if they bite on this. Samurais for Fernando Torres, and then if we sign him, I'll use 10 million plus Mitro Glue to bring in a midfield type player. That's my strategy. If they, cause we lose a midfielder in Samurais, and then if they accepted it, we would still have 10 million. So then we would use 10 million plus Mitro Glue to bring in a big midfield field type player. Nygolan would be sick obviously, but you know that's going to get rejected. Actually, every move I made got rejected. Check it out, man. Arsenal, they say no to Joe Cam to have uh, to have Campbell on loan. That's incredible, man. They say no. Uh Dzeko also said they say no because he just recently moved there, obviously. Nygolan's deal is not enough money. The Chelsea deal, they want way more money for Willian. They do accept the Alberto deal. We're giving 10 million plus Ilesu for Alberto. And I kind of like this deal, man. I actually like this deal. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a move that could actually really help us. So we're going to attempt to do this move here. Valencia say no to Gaia. Um, Arsenal accept something. Hector Bellerin. They accept the Hector Bellerin, 10 million plus Andre Almeida. It is a lot of money. Andre goes for six. It's a lot of money. Hector Bellerin, ah, yeah, is it too much, boys? Is it too much money? 10 million plus. Wow, Hector Bellerin accepts his contract. So does Alberto. You guys might have to make the biggest transfer decision. Straw poll! You guys love your straw polls, man. I love my straw polls. I'm gonna have a straw poll down below. 10 million and Andre Almeida for Hector Bellerin or 10 million in Ilesu for the boy Mar uh, 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 Alberto. So a left back or a right back. Blow it up down below in the straw poll. This is the biggest decision of this transfer window, man. This is by far the biggest decision because after this move, all we're going to be able to do is really get players on loan or or try to trade Mitro Glue on somebody. Right now, we're taking on Dortmund. Yo, guys, you know what Dortmund meant to me, right? This was one of the best career modes I have ever played in, man. This, this career mode was absolutely the funnest. You guys loved it. And now we're taking them on. I want to start Origi up top. Mitro Glue, you know what? I'm going to start Origi up top with Jonas. Um, and then, actually, you know what? I'm going to play Raul Jimenez. That's what I'm going to do. Raul Jimenez is going to play. Felipe Anderson, El Sharawi, Yori and Sanchez in the middle. I do like having Faija in that midfield because, yo, he, I, you know what? Yori there, Sanchez is going to hit the bench for this game. Uh, Munir is going to stay on the bench. You know what, man? Tarat starting this game, boys. Raul Jimenez, Jonas, Tarat, El Sharawi, Felipe Anderson. My boy Luis Zong played good enough to get another start, man. So Luis Zong is now coming up top. Where is he, Luis Zong? Get your butt up there. And also, Samurai, I, I gotta try this guy, man. We keep leaving him out the lineup. I gotta give this guy a go. Mitro Glue not coming today. I'm gonna give him a go today, man. Faja to the bench, Samurai into the lineup. This is about to be a sick game right here. Hopefully, how Raul Jimenez can put the ball in the back of the net. Oh, ah, man, Tarat, yo. <laughs> God, I thought he was going to be so good for Befica. He's never even touched the field. My man Jonas weaving back and forth. Jonas! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yo, he's, he's shushing him. Nah, yo, Jonas, I'm done. Nah, yo, I'm done, Jonas. Yo, Jonas, yo. Yo, Jonas, man. I am actually done with this card. This is why I tell people a lot, man. Going for young talent is amazing. But sometimes in a career mode, just use older players look at this jonas guy shooting man even though he's 30 like 30 years old or 31 no 31 years old look at what he's doing yeah that's four games in in the last game i kept saying that we were freaking four games in no last game was three games in this is our fourth game he scored in every game except for one and that was against liverpool and now he has six go goals bah, almost through there oh big steal to rat come on to fat run baby to rat still with it to rat jumps over that's a red car. That's a red car. It's a, is he not the last defender? Am I crazy? Jonas stepping over it. Jonas over the wall. Over everything. Raul, turn on the Jets. Oh, baby. Raul bringing it up. Still Raul. Still Raul. Ah, I tried to send it back to El Sharawi, but the pass went on the floor and right to the keeper. Hey, man, at halftime, once again, we're doing okay. Chelsea's tied up with PSG. Barcelona and Man City tied up. Milan's losing to Bayern. And Spartan is beating Inter. So Spartan have, actually having a good go, man. They tied against Real Madrid, and now they're beating Inter. So, all right, we saw good in the hood. Jonas to let another one fly. Jonas to make it 2-0. <laughs> What the hell, dude? Is that seven goals? Oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? He had three. That's seven goals. Nah, Jonas is unreal, son. 
Jonas is on another level. His right foot is magic. Seven goals in the BPL. Big chance, big chance. Oh, baby, I'm glad he missed it. What a tackle from Jonas. And here comes Origi. Opportunity for the young man from Liverpool. Louis Zong slides in, a slide and a miss. Ball to the back post. It's a beautiful one. Oh, man, offside. No offside, 2-1. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Mistake was made right there when I pulled the keeper. I'm going to send this all the way back with PZ to the keeper. Yo, yo, sometimes in life, boys, to get the three points, you got to suffer. You got to do things you don't like to do. I'm wasting time real quick. Good passing. No, you know what? Forget. Oh, I was going to go score another one. Bang, boys. Three points. So besides the Liverpool game, besides the Liverpool game, We've won everything. Bayern is still on fire, man. They're yet to lose a game. They're yet to tie a game. They are completely undefeated. Goals for both of us have eight, but the goals against, we have five, and they have two, man. So no one is scoring against this Bayern team. They are absolutely unreal. As you can see, the transfer window deadline day is around the corner. So it's up to you guys. Straw poll down below. Who do you want me to accept, man? We have Alberto and we have Hector Bellerin. Who do you want me to accept? Also, I'm possibly going to trade Mitroglu on somebody. Who do you want me to trade on? Let me know down below. Smash a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this series, boys, because right now I have to end the episode and I want to keep playing. And the only reason I'm not playing a third game, also, I'm going to ask for some money here uh, since we're going into the last, last, um, the whatchamacallit, into the, to the transport. Then I'm going to see if they'll give us some money. Regardless, I have to end here. We will play three games an episode after the transfer window deadline day because, or, or just after this episode now because I need you guys to make a decision on Hector. If I go any far, further forward, that deal is going to disappear. Also, I know I need to train players. I will train players because we have a lot of young players. And also, before we get out of here, Jonas on seven. And the next guy next to us is Neymar Zito with four. So we are killing it with Jonas right now. Spend your boy skills, thumbs it up, subscribe it. I love you guys, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you soon, booyah. Yeah. We have an opportunity today to become PSG rich, Man City rich, Real Madrid rich, Barcelona rich. All that has to happen is the financial takeover had to win in a straw poll that's been out for 24 hours. But before we check who won that, and before we find out if we about to have 300 mil in the bank, or like 200, 300, 400 mil, we about to be, we about to be stupid rich, Oprah rich. Let me just quickly say thank you guys so much for getting 25,000 likes on last career mode, yesterday's career mode. That's a lot of likes in 24 hours. 